Hello everyone. Welcome to ISP. Before we start please click the subscribe button below and the notification bell to be always updated. Noah Inola is now the undisputed Bantamweight champion of the world, which probably won't last very long, after knocking out Paul Butler on body shots in the 11th round. Butler, who came in defending the WBO title against Inola's WBC, WBA, and IBF belts, mostly was in survival and defensive mode throughout the bout. He looked very game early, but once Inola flashed his speed and power, Butler became very tentative, and to be fair to him, also came in with a clear game plan to not get run over early, staying defensively responsible. Butler also ate a lot of body shots along the way that probably could have stopped other opponents, and have in the past. As the rounds wore on, past the fifth or so, Inola became arrogant, daring Butler to actually throw back and give him some openings. At one point, he did the old Roy Jones Jr., putting his hands behind his back and sticking his chin out. Butler did nothing about it. In the 11th, Inola finally just decided to pour on the serious pressure again, and body shots felt the brick. Butler tried to get up, but there was just no getting up. The fight was stopped at 109 of round 11, technically a TKO, because the referee didn't complete the 10 count, but it was a proper knockout. I finally became the undisputed Bantamweight world champion, Inola said via interpreter. It's been a long journey for me. I was able to make this goal of becoming undisputed world champion. Now, I'm considering going up to Super Bantamweight. Inoue also expressed appreciation to Butler for coming to Japan and giving him the chance for an undisputed title fight, something he'd wanted in previous weight classes but never got. Inoue also said he was happy to fight longer than normal, though it did not seem that way during the fight. It was expected that Inoue would go up to 122 pounds after this, which means he will vacate all four belts and leave them scattered to the sanctioning bodies to appoint vacant title fights, with every chance Butler will get to fight someone else for the vacant WBO belt at 118. Meanwhile former three division champion Quadro Alas has a message to Japanese Monster in his YouTube post. Undisputed champion. Ken Gritz. Now you're undisputed, did you feel that you're the strongest? See you in Super Bantamweight Japanese Monster I am waiting for you. Please click the subscribe button below and the notification bell to be always updated.